Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Clash on Clashington. Today we'll be introducing the latest version of update videos, monthly updates. In this video, we will be showcasing 10 brand new cards to the game, along with yet another small mechanic to spice some things up. Before we kick into the showcase, a little explaining of said new mechanic is in order, which is actually a new type of event card. This type, known as Surprise, will be featured in two of the cards shown in this monthly update. Surprise cards are placed sideways, face down when played. When the requirements of the card are met, it is slipped face up immediately and its effect activates. Be careful though, although these cards are great methods of gaining tempo, they fill up an event slot while active, and if a new event card is played in its slot before it activates, it becomes inactive just like any other card would. Alrighty, now that this new mechanic has been explained, it is time to move on to the monthly update showcase. Starting off at number 1, we have Backapult. As a prize item event, Backapult is capable of returning an enemy minion to its controller's hand for almost free. Just make sure you time it right and your reward will come soon after. At number 2, we have Bull Taunter. A level 2 god minion with 20 buffiness, Bull Taunter is capable of moving an enemy level 3 minion into another Clashington. A great play prior to a clash, Bull Taunter just may be the edge that you need in a clash, but remember, it doesn't get rid of the problem entirely. At number 3, we have Jellied Buffer. A tiny level 1 ooze minion with 10 buffiness, Jelly Buffer's ability allows him to spread the buffiness love across the Clashington. Although it becomes unconscious from its effect after 2 uses, it provides room for more power by opening up a minion slot afterwards. At number 4, we have Sheep Herder. Similar to Bull Taunter, Sheep Herder is a level 1 farmer minion with 15 buffiness that can move a conscious level 2 or lower minion you control in the Clashington to another Clashington. As such, Sheep Herder is a great way for setting up plays and moving things where you need them most. At number 5, we have Skull Butter. At 25 buffiness for a level 2 minion, Skull Butter is not a bad piece of buff. Still, with its ability of dealing 20 damage at the cost of making itself unconscious, Skull Butter provides versatility in situations that would seem otherwise difficult. At number 6, we have Slippery Sloth. 30 buffiness at level 1 is something that seems quite absurd. That is, if you're able to keep it that way. Whenever Slippery Sloth's controller plays an event card in this Clashington, Slippery Sloth loses 5 buffiness. As such, it is better to hold this card prior to a clash, or once you are finished using events in a particular Clashington. At number 7, we have Sour Glass. An item circumstance with an action cost of 0, the only cost you need to pay for Sour Glass is time. Once 3 tokens have been added to Sour Glass, you gain the ability to call a clash whenever, regardless of whether or not you have filled your side of the Clashington with minions. At number 8, we have Squirmel. With 10 buffiness at level 1, Squirmel isn't that strong of a minion, but its ability to move into an empty minion slot of any active Clashington once per game allows it to provide that little extra boost of buff whenever needed. At number 9, we have Stinkums. Some of you may have already seen this new guy in the updated version of the Farmer deck, and now it is available for any custom decks. A level 1 minion with 15 buffiness, Stinkums is a stable card, but what makes it even more stable is its ability to not have its buffiness decreased. And lastly, at number 10, we have War Kazoo. The second surprise card introduced, War Kazoo follows the surprise tradition by stressing timing above all else. If you are able to have your opponent call a clash when this card is active, you gain an extra action during your next turn. With great risk comes great reward. I hope you guys enjoy these 10 brand new cards, and as always they will be uploaded to the Dropbox upon release of this video. Make sure to keep a lookout for the second monthly update, which will be showing up in early March or so. Until then, I wish all of you Clash Commanders out there the best of luck, and keep on clashing.